All right, Shalom Akim. This is your brother Karab from GMS Miami. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachach Wadash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew. And I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I want to give a hearty Shalom. And much love to the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to wake up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Okay, and this uh, lesson pretty much going to be centered around developing our faith. Okay, okay, because uh, the scriptures speak about, uh, you know, our hope and our faith being a gift from the Heavenly Father. But our job, you know, as we matriculate on this path or, or through the straight gate or this level of uh, walk of difficulty um we need to develop our faith okay and that's pretty much been going on since uh since we left out of the garden well, since adam left out of the garden okay and this whole plight and this whole uh walk of life or this whole um journey that the heavenly father has uh, put us on or that our wrong decisions our bad decisions have sent us down um it's basically been to develop our faith for the times to come because okay, the scriptures speak about a time like never before or Jacob's trouble, the worst times of all. OK, so the only thing that's going to, uh, 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 you know, um, render itself worthy is our faith. OK, that's how we're going to be delivered, you know, having faith in something that, that's, that's um, in, in essence, not tangible. OK, like people that worship Buddha, they can go and touch their God or the, the, the Muslims. They can go to Islam and, and look at the little moon rock. You know what I'm saying? Stick their head in the little vagina and look at the moon rock. Okay? Um, Christianity, they can go and sit in a church and, you know, hear uh, what they consider a man of God, preach the word and see, uh, you know, painted glass of, of Jesus or Jebus, <laughs> you know, or Serapis Christus, you know? They can see those things. But our plight is different, okay? We have to walk so soulfully on, on faith and not by sight. That's a commandment. We walk by faith and not by sight. Okay? Because like that old saying is, uh, believe half of what you hear and none of what you see. Okay? Because hey, we're living in a bizarre world. This is uh, everything around us is basically a mirage. And the reason that it's a mirage because the Most High is going to throw it down. The scriptures speak about um, um, him burning this place to smithereens. Especially America. Okay, to where it's uninhabitable again. Okay, so the only things that are, uh, uh, you know, that are rendered valuable or that are of any essence are the scriptures and the men that are teaching this word, man. Okay, but I, like I say, our job, you know, that gift that was given to us, you know, like the scriptures speak about the most high working to work within us. Okay, well, that's our, that's our faith and that's our gift. Okay, and our job is to develop it to the point where, um, you know, in essence, man, we we get delivered out of this hellhole, you know, because we're going to see some things that's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to make it. Uh, it's going to be hard to, to smile, man. OK, we're going to be in a level of difficulty. That's what straight gate means. A uh, degree of difficulty, you know. Now, the scriptures speak about us rejoicing at destruction or laughing at destruction and we shall eat. OK, but our daily dainties in, 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 in um, you know. Um, you know, uh, pampering, regular pampering is like walking in the house and just flicking the light switch and the lights come on and, you know, um, you know, coming in the house and hitting the uh, thermostat and the air condition comes on or putting food in the microwave or in the oven and all that, all that's going to be out the window pretty soon. Okay. And, and the thing that's going to keep you, that's going to stabilize you is wisdom and knowledge, which also helps develop your faith. Okay. So, uh, uh, I'll put a good a few scriptures just to edify that point. Um, first, since I quoted it, let me get this. This is um. Uh, let me see what we go with first. This is Ephesians chapter two. Let's start at six. It says, and have raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Verse seven, 
that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Okay. And then we're, we're in those times now, man. Okay. For us to even know this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, that, that is an absolute honor. Okay. Because, uh, and I won't, I won't say by default, but by us knowing this, that sets us apart from everybody on the planet, okay, as far as intellect goes. And not that we're doing this thing to be intellectual or to, to, to uh, use musing words and not. No, no. Just having the knowledge and understanding of the Heavenly Father makes you wise, man, okay? Because if you don't know what the Heavenly Father is planning or what he wants to do, you don't know shit, man, okay? You're in, you're in the blind. Okay, even and I, I, I like to say even uh, 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 with us knowing this word, man, we really don't know nothing. We we know what the, the Lord told us to know, which is, you know, our duty. This is commanded of us. Okay, alluding to, let me get it real quick. It's Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, verse thirteen. It says, "Let us hear the the conclusion of the whole matter." Fear the most high and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. You see? That's our whole duty here on the planet. So it's not like we get kudos or brownie points for doing this. This is what you're supposed to do as a man. Okay? And if you do what you're supposed to do in the sight of the Heavenly Father, you will be you will be delivered. Okay? Because doing what you're supposed to do helps what? Helps develop your faith. Okay? We go back to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. It says, And have raised up. Raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Okay. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Okay. And boy, do we need grace. You know, because we all went off. We all sinned and fallen short of the glory. Okay. That's, that's heavy, man. Okay. And knowing that, that puts you in a humble, broken down, contrite spirit. Knowing that, hey. If the Most High wanted to, he can wipe everybody off the face of the planet. And, and, and he wouldn't be wrong, okay? He wouldn't be wrong, okay? Verse 8, it says, "For by, and it's the point, it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, okay? So by grace are we saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of Yahweh, okay? So it's showing you we're going to be saved through our, 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 you know, by grace, okay, through our faith, which what has to be developed, man, okay, and how do you develop? You walk in the spirit, man, you stay in these scriptures, okay, give, give obedience to those that have rule over you, grind, labor, show diligence, <laughs> okay, that's how you develop it, because everything from now until Yahweh gives the order for Yahweh Shai and the angels to come down and destroy this place and deliver the elect. You're going to have to be developing your faith because building it is going to be a test for that time. You know, I mean, with everything, man, because like the scriptures say we walk by faith and not by sight. So what is that doing? Getting us accustomed to walking in the spirit, man. OK, because this flesh don't profit us anything, man. It's dying every day. When you get out of the bed, you leaving. It's who know Lord knows how many skin cells in your bed. Okay? We're rotting away inside out. We don't eat any good food. We GMOs. Okay? Breathing in chemtrails. Okay? So, hey, you know, uh, it just it's a no-brainer to understand that, look, this flesh is going to rot. You know? We need to quicken that spirit. Okay? And how do we do that? Obtain to things that develop our faith. Okay? Uh... Let's see, we'll go with Romans. Let me see where I want to start, though. This is uh, Romans 10. I'll start at 14. And it says, uh, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Okay? And that's what we do. And that's that's that shows you how heavy our job is. We we're the only people, okay, on the face of the planet that have a job. Everybody else is you basically uh twiddling their thumbs together, man, until the most high uh, uh you know gives the go to come and de and destroy them, man. Okay? 
the 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 main thing the the, the main uh 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 well the principal uh focus right now is to stay out of the way of the heavenly father okay and these people are not gonna know it these people listen these people the, the majority of our people we know through the scriptures here in america are gonna be destroyed okay but we have to wake up the hopefully elect, the so-called splinter uh, sleeper cells, you know, and that has to be done by preachers preaching. OK, um, and the word preacher just means prophet. It means to say before pre before and the chair, meaning uh, in the Latin going back to um, um, speak, say before. See, verse 15 and now Salakia and how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. You see? Why? Because they're one of the people of the Heavenly Father. Why? Because the Heavenly Father took his face, he, he, he hid his face from our people. Why? Because of our, un, our unrighteousness and our wickedness. Okay? But now is the time where the Most High is opening up the gates of mercy and the gates and showing grace. And it's our job, you know, as, the, as his ambassadors, as his mouthpiece, to go and tell the people, okay? And, and right now, people don't view us as, oh, oh, how beautiful are they feet who preach the gospel? Because to most, they perceive that what we're saying is evil, okay? But hey, like the scriptures say, soon they shall know that a prophet was amongst them, okay? Um, okay, verse 16, it says, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For as I, I, Isaiah said, uh, Lord, who have believed our report? Verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. Okay. So that's the key basis. Okay. The first step to developing your faith. Hearing this word, man. Okay. And the scriptures say what? Let me go to that real quick. One part of the lesson, but let me bring it. Okay. Because you a uh, simpleton to say, oh, you see, it says here the word. No, no, no. It's, it's a two-part deal. James 1 and 22, it says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. You see? So not only do you have to hear this, man, you have to you have to do it. Okay? And guess what? The Bible is not a, a five-page book, you know? And it's not about the lengthiness of it, but there's a lot of stuff that we need to know. Okay? Like when you when you go to work for your employer and they give out that that handbook of conduct, you know there's a lot of stuff in it, but you better know it because if you go off, you're gonna get fired. Okay, so how much more the heavenly Father, who will who will hey, who will absolutely torment you, okay, for not doing what He said, okay? But the, hey, but the beauty of this is we're we're gonna be saved by the law of liberty. We're under the law of liberty now, okay? Which is basically to have faith in Yahweh Shah. You see. So it's it's imperative that we develop our faith, man, in this ministry, okay? Because we're going to need an ample amount of it, okay? But, hey, nothing is carnal. Nothing is carnal. Everything is spiritual. So if we're walking in the faith and doing what the Lord said, he will keep us, like the scriptures say, He will, he will we will be kept uh, from that hour of temptation. And that's what everything boils down to, man, okay? Uh, this is uh, James 1. I started 1. It says, James, a servant of the Most High and of... Uh, of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting, verse two. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. <laughs> you see, verse three. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. You see, and that's what. That's why we're commanded to walk in faith and walk walk in faith and not by sight. Because if you're walking in your faith, guess what? You're gonna be tried. You're going to be tried. You got, you know, an entity called Shatan, okay? And he's commanded to try, try our faith and also sift out the nation, help sift out the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, okay? So if you're walking in faith, it's going to be tried. Why? Let me read. It says, uh, verse 3, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, okay? Let me, let's go to patience real quick. It's hypomone, hypomone, G5281, 
and it means uh, steadfastness, constancy, endurance, you see? <laughs> In the New Testament, the characteristic of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and piety by uh, even the greatest trials and sufferings, patiently and steadfastly, a patient, steadfast, waiting for, a patient, enduring, sustaining, perseverance. You see? So let's read that again. James 1, uh, 1 and 3, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work of patience. So the, when we, when our faith is tried, it works in us steadfastness, okay? Um, no matter the situation, okay? Which is doing what? Getting us ready for the, the time of trouble, okay? Uh, verse 4, but let patience have her perfect work, <laughs> that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing, you see? All we want is to be delivered, you know? And if you're walking in the faith, you're going to be tried and it's going to bring patience. And like the scriptures say, let me get that real quick. Started 17, Luke 21 and 17, it says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my namesakes, which is the case right now, okay? By family members, friends, foes, okay? By the elite of this government, okay? It says, uh, And ye shall be hated of all men for my namesake, but there shall not a hair of your head perish. Verse 19, In your patience possess ye your souls. You see? So, you know, having faith, you know, it's going to be tried, okay, to do what? To build up our patience, okay? <laughs> like we just read, your patience helps you to possess your soul, okay? Because you're going to have, you're going to need an ample amount of it in the times that's coming, okay? And a whole lot of faith, okay? But if, hey, if we're doing the right things now, the most high is going to work that work in us, okay? He's the one that started and he's going to finish, like the scriptures say, and we have to have faith in that, Okay? This is Hebrews 11. I'll close out with this one. You know, it's basically going into faith. You know, brothers are pretty familiar with this chapter. Great chapter to help them to, to develop faith. Okay, giving great examples. Great examples. Going all the way back to, uh, going all the way back to Noah. Okay. Um, and Enoch. All the way back to Enoch. Okay, so Hebrews 11. Mm, let's see where we want to start. Uh, Hebrews 11 and let's go with 32 it says and what shall I more say okay for the time will fail me to tell of Gideon okay so Paul is basically saying look hey, <laughs> hey um, you know like I you know going from uh, Hebrews 1 all the way down is giving different accounts of men who showed their faith how through their works okay through their works, you have to work to develop your faith. Okay, so uh, Paul basically saying, "Look, I, if I time will fail me, you know, if I went through the whole list." Okay, so uh, it says, uh, "And what shall I more say? For the time will fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah, Jep Jephthah, of David also and Samuel, and of the prophets." Verse thirty-three: Who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises. Stop the mouth of lions, quench the violence of fire, escape the edge of the sword, out of the weakness were made strong, wax valiant in fight, turn to fight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. Okay, 
You see? So, hey, that this base and that's why we you know, a couple years back, you know, the apostle to was going into look, yeah, we're faith based Israelites. And you had guys scoffing on that. Okay? Because when you read these scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, everybody in this book had an ultimate, an excellent level of faith. Okay? That's what this book is about. Having faith in the power that you, the invisible power, the invisible God. You know? But, hey, once he gives us that gift, like it says in Ephesians, the second chapter in the eighth verse, it's our job to develop it. And how do we develop it? Being diligent walking in faith, okay, and, and, and allowing it to be tried, okay, so that we can be ready for the times to come, and, that, and that's playing, you know, that's playing, but um, I hit the point, so uh, Lord willing, that was edifying, with that, I want to say Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechach, Radash, Barakatham, Shalom, Amakim.